If you are quarantining by yourself these days, you are not alone. Therapists say staying at home solo requires some additional self care. CBS 2's Marin Austin explains. Jackie Donabedian lives alone. Her life as a world traveler and writer is typically very full. But since the pandemic, she says she feels lonely. When is the last time you hugged or touched someone? Probably the last day I was at work, which was March 12th or March 11th. So that's over a month. How does that make you feel? Not human. Alone, but not actually alone. Over 30 million Americans live by themselves. Many following stay at home orders solo, including CBS This Morning anchor Gail King. The other day I walked by the mirror and I said, hi Gail, how you doing? Just so I could hear another human voice. Right. You know, so it is, I have to say, a little daunting. Millions have turned to video chat to stay connected for happy hours, holidays, and even dates. But is that enough? Therapist Abby Crom says being physically alone for long periods can have a big impact on mental health. We know that loneliness um, is a big factor in depression and anxiety. And especially, I think, for right now, because we don't have a, a real end date, um, that's what's causing people's anxiety. Crom says self-care is essential at a time like this. She suggests joining virtual activities and classes to practice meditation and yoga. We are wired for connection. We're wired to connect. And uh, we actually get oxytocin from touch. So there's a very real deprivation that you're having right now. Things like supportive touch can also relieve stress. If you want to try putting your hand over your heart, you can kind of feel like there's something soothing just about that touch. Can you kind of notice that? I do feel it. Jackie says for now she's focusing on connecting with herself and trying to make the best of a tough situation. Marin Austin, CBS News, Los Angeles. Experts suggest sticking to a schedule during this time or using the extra time to learn a new hobby or skill.